Hallo meine lieben Freunde, ich bin's, euer lieber Odo. Und wir sind zurück bei Disco Elysium. Wir haben es geschafft, wir sind im Kindergewölbe vom Feldgebäude. Ähm, das Interessante ist, also dann sind wir raufgekommen, wir haben Kim gefunden. Wir haben ihn gelassen. Ah, das äh, Arzt Masov. Waren wir schon. Ähm, interessanterweise, ich bin drauf gekommen, letztens. Äh, das letzte oder das vorletzte Mal muss es gewesen sein. Warte mal. Ah, da waren wir noch. Ah, außerdem sind da die Schritte. Die, 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 die Richtung. Mal mal zuerst in diese Richtung. Das letzte Mal habe ich das Riesenrad gedanklich wieder hergestellt. Der Tunnel collapsed. We'll have to find another way around. Okay. Um, und ich bin drauf gekommen, das war ein legendärer Erfolg. Nicht einmal 0,5% aller. Leute haben das geschafft. It's getting louder, the buzzing sound. Okay. Okay. There it is again. Like a swarm of hornets buzzing under your scalp. A strange tingling you can almost smell. Lieutenant, no. What do you mean? The pain, the strange tingling. I don't feel it, but. We should still be careful. There were footprints back there, and I'm pretty sure they were fresh. No, but you are the sensitive one. Mm -hmm. Ich glaube, wir finden sie jetzt. Unsere Ruby. Geld. Wenn nicht Was ist das? A concrete pipe buried in the sand and dust. Uh. Ein Polaranorak. Yes. Und statt was unten wäre. Composure and shivers. Statt der Jagd. Empathy and Hand-Eye Coordination ist aber auch nicht. Hm. Shivers hat uns jetzt einige Male geholfen. Das ist so eine Art dritter, äh, 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 fünfter Sinn oder sowas in die Richtung. Okay, da hinten steht was. Gefunden. Your entire body is paralyzed. Aggressive white noise fills your skull. A strange pain like you've never felt before. Through the static, you hear a woman's voice. Wir haben Ruby gefunden. Das schaut nicht gut aus. I know you're feeling pretty uncomfortable right now. Don't move too much or fight it. That'll just make it worse. Says the shadowy figure by the machine. Can't say it's a pleasure, officer. I was really hoping not to make your acquaintance, but here we are. Ja, sie hat ja schon gesagt, dass sie weiß, dass wir kommen werden. Oh, ich habe vergessen, Zeit nehmen. Zeit. Minuten sagen wir. Nicht lange auf einmal. Mhm. Ja, ich finde das auch nicht nett. As he says the word, officer, you feel a spike in the agony. It sounds like the entire radio frequency range is screaming directly into your neural pathways. Don't 
aber dann kann man ja erst. Ich glaube, es bringt nichts, unsere Ohren zu bedecken. That's an awful decision. Why would you not want to shield yourself from it? It's an entirely new type of experience. Way worse than all the previous ones. Okay. Don't focus on the pain. Focus on doing your job. Tell her she's under arrest. You're under arrest. What's happening to me? Are you gonna pull me too? If hmm. Das, diese obere Option habe ich sicher nur deswegen, weil Volition den Success hatte. Really now? Check this out. You're overwhelmed with a new surge of violent static. It feels like a blood Ich habe erst vor kurzem gespeichert. Ich werde nicht meine, meine wenigen Dings, meine wenigen Charges dafür auch brauchen. Volition, danke, dass du mich ins Nichts geführt hast. No, I'm not going to fucking kill you. If that had been my plan, you'd be dead already. All things considered, I'm being pretty reasonable here. Äh, uh, ja, reasonable. Das klingt danach. I'm using a pale latitude compressor. You and your partner have been caught in its field. The explosion of static you're hearing. It's the ULAN frequency. Mm -hmm. Blast it from that pale emitter that Angus mentioned. Mm -hmm. I saw your equations. It's the ULAN frequency. You're using one of those devices used to send signals through the pale on me. Saw my equations? You've been sniffing through my lorry, right? I expected as much. I am a bit surprised you knew what you were looking at. A pale latitude compressor is used to sort of make the pale more manageable. With a lot of these, you can force a radio signal grid on the pale literally crunch the distance across it. Mm -hmm. Signals are relayed across a series of repeater stations fixed to buoys. Not a fun job manning those stations. All alone out there in the pale, people lose their minds in just a few years. Mm -hmm. So, what we are experiencing is a, a concentration of radio waves. Precisely. This is an industrial strength paraboloid. It's meant for forcing dimensions on something that doesn't have them. Needless to say, the frequencies used are out of this world. Mm -hmm. At the upper limit is the large prime number generator station. It's used specifically for pale latitude compression. That's why you may be hearing some numbers. But you might also hear, or think you're hearing, local radio chatter. Please turn it off. I can't take it anymore. Ah, oh, vielleicht dreht es dann wirklich ab. This is all great. But let's talk about the man who was killed. Mm. Yeah, let's not talk about that shit. You were hunting me and fell into my trap instead. That's all there is to say about it. Have you experienced the compressor yourself? Yeah, I stuck my head in there before using it on you. It seemed like the ethical thing to do. Can't say that I enjoyed it. The field was weaker, but I can imagine what you're going through. How did you get your hands on? No, 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 no. If you've got something really important to say, you can do it through the white noise. <laughs> You're looking for a deal with my 
this. <lacht> okay. Das ist schrecklich. Ja, danke. Es schaut weniger schlimm aus jetzt. Well, it doesn't feel much better, but she can form sentences now. Thinking doesn't seem to hurt as much. There's only three meters between you and the machine. If you keep her distracted for long enough, maybe. Be careful when you make your move. That'll be it for questions. Bide your time. Okay. Destroy the machine. 58%ige Chance sogar. Nicht schlecht. In Wirklichkeit. Dafür, dass das eine, eine rote Probe ist, wo ich wirklich schlecht bin. How did you know we were coming? I heard you in the passages. And I've been preparing for quite a while. For hiding bullets on the floorboards. So you found my shack, huh? I'm not surprised. Her tone is bitter. She thinks she's been betrayed. She didn't rat you out. By the way, Isabel, the washerwoman. So nice. That's one knife I didn't want to find in my back. Preparing for the worst? I was. Before I caught you in the pale latitude compressor. I'm fine now. Did you shoot Lally? No, I didn't do it. I only helped stage the lynching. Though I doubt that makes much of a difference to you. Mm. Who ratted me out, by the way? Was it Titus? No. He wouldn't have broken first. You're right. Classia was the first to share her suspicions. I knew the kitten had claws, but not like this. Es war, es war sicher Klaas hier im Endeffekt, nachdem sie die erste Verdächtige war und die Kugel durch den Kopf, ah, durch die Wand, da war ein Loch drinnen, das war sicher die Kugel. Sie konnte nicht wissen, dass ich auf der Küste war. Wie hast du mich gefunden? Die erste Guess war nicht entirely off. Your own boy has told us where you you were on the coast. My boys? Yeah, the ones you poached from Titus and Titus himself. Ruby boys, formerly the Hardy boys. Okay, call them the Hardy boys then. Hmm. We sind gemein, wir nehmen das. I don't even understand what you're trying to get at here. Oh, doesn't even matter. How can they be my boys when they're not even my friends? And those guys liked me, I know it. This is what happens to people whom people like. A dull mm -hmm. despair is creeping into her voice. Yeah. How the fuck do the rest of you get by? Wait, wasn't it you who called me the human can opener? It's not personal. I opened them up. I do it by asking questions and I have some for you. Honestly, I don't know how I do it. I just stumbled in here. Can you please explain this shit to me? <laughs> hmm. Wir verwenden ihre Worte. Boah, 
by asking questions, and I have some for like you. What? I already told you I didn't do it. Do you have an alibi? Would say that Lanny was a likable person. I didn't like him. Hardened mercenaries aren't particularly likable types. You don't feel sympathy for Mercs. It's hard work. There's nothing more personal that you had against him. Perhaps his way with women. You think I was envious of his conquests? Look, pussy's not a problem for me. And definitely not a reason to off someone. Mm -hmm. Do you feel protective of the Union? You don't feel sympathy for Mercs? Or work? Plenty of broken people who don't come with that kind of body count. Besides, they're paid well for what they do. Hmm. Sie hat nicht ganz unrecht. Ich werde jetzt doch einen Health Charge nehmen. Einfach deshalb, weil ich jetzt schon zu lange in dem Gespräch bin und es nicht nochmal machen will. Do you feel protective of the Union? Yeah, sure. And I didn't like wild pines sending in those foreign hirelings. Me and a fuck ton of other people around here. Mhm. Mm Na gut, das ist verständlich. She didn't hate him, okay? I have another question. I'm listening. Do you have an alibi for when Daddy was shot? You have a gun. And why did you get it? The gun store. What? Trigger what? Happy Jacks. Really, Trigger? That doesn't sound like the name of a real store. What did you think? That I'm going to squeal on my gun supplier? Sorry, I'm not that kind of gal. I can't quite tell what kind of gun it is it. Do you collect guns? Maybe old rifles? There's other guns I want to ask you about. No, they're not practical. Break too often. Hmm. A Nachtway 80 front loader. Two barreled. Not really what you were looking for, I'm guessing. Nein, was wirklich nichts. That isn't it. That Merc was probably shot from a distance with a military grade rifle. Otherwise, everyone at the Whirling would have heard the shot downstairs. Hmm. There's other evidence I want to ask you yeah. about. Evidence. Das nicht. Do you like to hang out on rooftops? Who doesn't? Oh, you probably mean Claudia's rooftop. Sure, I've hung out there. She's got this great antenna. Is that the only reason you hung out on the roof? She's pretty bomb too. But you might say the antenna was the main attraction there, yeah. Along with Claudia. So great about the antenna. It's very powerful. I used it to tune into RCM frequencies. That's how I knew to be prepared for your arrival. Are you sure you didn't shoot the Merc from the roof? Yes, I'm sure. And anyway, as I said before, the shot had to have come from afar. You're running drugs for the Union. I've been through your lorry. So, Heart of Gold Tommy fucked me over too. Never trust a musician. But it really <laughs> comes as a blow to her. No, he didn't. I found my own way in. Okay, great. You got into my lorry on your own. What now? You're going to arrest me for drug trafficking? Beneath it, she's relieved. Tommy didn't betray her. You're a criminal. I can't trust anything you say. This means you're already a known killer. Because drugs kill people. <laughs> Man, it's to get away from all that murderous shit that I left Jamrock, my previous employer, for the union. Hmm. Yeah, good. 
I got lucky being a dispatcher. Never had to do any of the really dirty work myself. This gun has only been used for self-defense against serious scum. But you're threatening us with it. Based on what I've heard about you, you are serious scum. Hey, we sind urnett. You like class I here a lot. Her a good friend, yeah. Beep, beep. Uh, but you wanted to be more than just friends. Oh, so that's where you were going with this. She said you wanted to run away with her. That's a very sentimental way of putting it. We both had pasts we didn't want to catch up with us. And we enjoyed listening to music together. Why not go on a road trip? Okay, vielleicht war es auch die... War auch eine von seinen Kolleginnen. The lieutenant watches her expectantly. There. Shaking from the pain. Okay, fine. I was into her. Klausi was into me too for a time, I know it. We even fooled around once. And yeah, after that I thought maybe we could make a go of it. Klausi only said they made his Someone is lying here. Mm -hmm. Wait, Klausi has said you only kissed. <laughs> If that's what she wants on the record, so be it. I'm not about to go into details for you to jerk off to later. <laughs> ah, ich glaube, es geht uns zu schlecht, als dass wir das machen wollen. Seriously, just move on. I do want details, actually. Cringe from the head splitting torment. Then what happened? She rejected me with some wishy washy bullshit about how she was confused because she felt so close to me and valued my friendship so much <laughs> and how guilty she felt for leading me on. Mm, yeah. I knew that wasn't the whole story, but thought, fine, I'll take it and move on. No ill will there. It wasn't a problem for her. No ill will there. It wasn't a problem for her. Klausia said you got very angry when she started seeing Lely threatened her. And despite everything, you helped her by staging the lynching. Yeah, one time when we'd both been drinking, I said some heated things about how dangerous her patterns with men were. I was a little worried to blow it out of proportion in her head. All the drugs she was doing can make you feel like you're living in a DeLorean tragedy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And despite everything, you helped her by staging the yeah, lynching? the girl seemed terrified. The Merc was beyond caring what happened to his mortal coil. It was a no-brainer. <laughs> das brauchen wir nicht fragen, oder? Vielleicht könnte da die Information kommen, wer es dann wirklich getan hat. Not following your clever insinuations, Detective. There's a hole in the wall. You can see into Klausia's room. I wouldn't blame you if you've. Klausia said you may have used the peephole in her wall to spy on her. It's just a hole in Klausia's wall is pretty suspicious. Hm, was nehme ich da am besten? Das ist gar nicht so einfach. Äh Wir schieben alles auf Glas hier. Vielleicht, wenn sie glaubt, dass Glas ein Arschloch ist. Das ist pretty, aber nicht so pretty. In fact, no one's pretty enough to waste time skulking about the whirling, drilling holes in walls. So, you haven't been watching Glas hier through the hole in the wall? Look, she has an effect on people. That je ne sais quoi that makes it impossible not to look at her when she walks into the room and very difficult to look away. But travel enough and you realize... Mm -hmm. 
For the same reason that she's everyone's type as an object of desire, she's not irreplaceable. There are other things I ask Go ahead. about. It's your body. Kim, echt jetzt. And mine too, he thinks. But keep on. This must be done. Do you have an and I buy? Man, I was with the boys the whole night. I hope they at least bothered to impress that upon you. There were ten minutes they couldn't account for. They did say you left to take a really long leak. Fifteen minutes. Yeah, and I'm sure they also made some funny remarks about it. They always do. I've driven a lot of long haul and chugged a lot of beer, man. Can't do either without some power of mind over bladder. And anyway, that wouldn't have been enough time. Hold on, no one takes a 15 minute leak. No investigation, wins from the pain, has shown that 15 minutes was just enough time to commit the murder. Wow, now I'm curious. Please, explain. Look, there's a secret way from the first floor of the verdict to the roof. Play in Paul no, Much. Not since I was 14 and hanging out in the only diner in Dardun. Haven't been into low risk, no reward games since moving to the city. Mm -hmm. Why? There are some mysterious pinball machines in some pretty mysterious rooms in the verdict. Never mind the pinball then. The secret way from the verding bar to the roof. Don't know it, but also the shot couldn't have come from the roof, or we would have all heard it downstairs. She has a point there. No one mentioned. Mm -hmm. That didn't go super well. You've got to lay something better on her. Yeah, where? More, more questions before doing anything. Who killed the Merc? If it wasn't you. How should I know? As I keep saying, he already had a bullet in his head when I got to him, and there hasn't been any useful gossip over the radio. Police radio? You've been following the case? Who hasn't? You know I can still see him there in Claus's room, lying on his side. He was still warm, but the bluish light coming through the broken window made him look as though he'd been dead for a good long while. Vielleicht war er schon länger tot. She eyes you warily, as though gauging your sincerity. It's okay. We just want to. Uh, uh... Mm -hmm. All right, don't kill yourself over it. I was shooting the shit with Hardy and the boys over a few beers, like always. Then Klasia comes in, all pale and shuddering. She sits down with a drink, trying to steady her nerves. So I grab a seat next to her. But did she also seem high to you? Oh yeah, super. But I didn't think too much of it at first. I'd seen her party hard before. Oh, she said you knew something was wrong immediately? No, I really didn't. She's not that easy to read. I just assumed she'd done too much blow. It wouldn't be a first for her. But no such luck. She was in some deep shit. She asked me to come upstairs. The merc she'd been going with was lying on the bedroom floor, dead. I knew she couldn't get the authorities involved, so yeah. You made it look like he'd been hanged. Klausi said you seemed to have a plan prepared when you got there. Came up with a plan so quickly. What? No. Faking a lynching was her idea. Her idea? Yeah. In cold blood. It really surprised me. How quickly she was able to get a hold of herself once we got up there. 
It was like she was another person. The party girl was gone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She asked me to help her drag him into the shower so she could wind the shower head around his neck to fake lividity. Then she dressed him while I went to get the Hardy Boys. Okay. Classy knew exactly what she was doing. You can't remain calm under pressure otherwise. Danke, Volition. Wir wissen schon, dass du ihr nicht vertraust. Go ahead. Resourceful. That, that, that she. Yeah. I wasn't sure whether to admire her or be disturbed. Do you think she killed Lally herself? I keep telling you cops, we didn't hear anything downstairs. No gunshot, nothing. Hmm. Sie hat ihn vielleicht woanders gekillt und draufgebracht? Oder an einer anderen? Hmm. But even if this is true, weren't you worried this lynching might lead to... War? The thought crossed my mind. But the mercenary's death was going to have repercussions either way. Although the way things are going... She doesn't want to talk about this, but not because she has something to hide. She doesn't want the guilt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fuck it. I'm not responsible for these people after what they did to me. If you didn't kill him, why hide? I saw you roll into town. I wasn't about to stick around for questioning by a goddamn La Puta Madre agent. What do you mean, La Puta Madre yes. agent? You. Everyone says you're his peon, his human can opener. His? Through the sudden sharp pain in your head, you hear the lieutenant mumble something to himself. It's especially bad suddenly. Felt like a vein exploded. Who's everyone? How do you know this? Everyone in Jamrock. The cops, the criminals. Why do you think I'm holed up in here with a goddamn death ray waiting for you? If she knows that about you, she must know your real name too. I mean, what's my name? If you know that about me, you must know my name. Harry Dubois. One corrupt motherfucker with a disco pants and a funny tie. Agent to La Puta Madre. So she knows your name? That doesn't mean you're on the take. Criminals make up bogeyman stories about cops all the time. Mm -hmm. All of this just means that you're effective. Criminals know you and are scared of you. Fuck yeah, I'm a La Puta Madre agent. You better let me go. I've heard of La Puta Madre. He's dangerous, right? Is that a joke or a threat? I'm guessing both. No, that was a real question. I'm sorry, I know I'm supposed to know all about this, but I lost my memory recently. <laughs> das ist wieder die sorry cop Sache. Yeah, sure. She doesn't believe you. I'm sure La Puta Madre himself will explain it all to you soon enough. What did you do to this Madre anyway? You've been to my lorry. You think the biggest player in Jamrock appreciates competition? And now I have Harry can opener in my lair. Fucking Titus. Do you know about the bunker next door? What bunker? The communist hideout up there. Don't know anything about it. No one's been around since I set up camp, but I'm sure I'm not the first vagabond to. Her, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Oops. Health critical. Heal yourself now. Okay. So we have keine things mehr. Das ist nicht gut. Can't. Take it anymore, just go. Nudged it during drugs talk. 72%. Ah, neither mit dem Ding. You did it. 
The compressor lies broken on its side. It's quiet in your head again. It still hurts like hell, but... You're under arrest. See them fireworks, Kim? All good, officer. Be careful. She looks at the machine, assessing the damage. Her hand trembles. Oh, fuck it. Sie versucht sich selbst umzubringen. Das ist nicht gut. What are you doing? Rhetoric challenging. Oh. Convince her to put the gun down. Problem solving. Ma'am, put the gun down. That's not the solution to your problem. You are... Oh, yes it is. Go ahead then. Let her do it. Hmm. We müssen sie ausreden. You should know the words to say. You've been here yourself. So why is it not coming to you? Why am I standing here like an Because idiot? Because you've been going around pointing a gun at yourself, trying to answer the same question in vain. Her finger squeezes the trigger now. She doesn't deserve to die like this. No, wait. Finally, it comes to you. A way to connect with her. I know your pain. I've been let down by women too. She flashes you an incredulous grin. Then she exhales sharply, shakes her head, and pulls the trigger. Na super, das habe ich gut gemacht. You watch as her brains trickle out through her neon hair. Oh God, what did we just do? I failed to talk to them. It's my fault. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. Okay, okay. Compose yourself. What do we do now? Hmm, no kind of torta. Lieutenant Lefreitor Dubois, control your emotions. We did our job. This won't be the worst thing that happens on this case, believe me. You can't let this break you. There is no coming back from this one. It will stay with you in nightmares. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. So we're off here? Okay. You said it. You needed to say it. Now it's been said. We need to clean up. Wir könnten hier aufhören. Könnten wir hier aufhören? Könnten wir hier aufhören? Wenn ich das klicke und es ist zu Ende, was machen wir dann? <lacht> Laden und noch einmal das. Yay! <lacht> Uh, machen wir das. Police officer responsible for suicide of suspect yep. renounces the RCM. Today, Officer Harrier Dubois, formerly a lieutenant of the Citizens Militia of Revachon, gives a candid interview in which he renounces the militia, his years of service, most of which he doesn't remember, and his own actions on the force. I'm no longer a cop. I wish I never was. No one should be, says Dubois who has fallen on hard times after resigning. Fuck the RCM. Fuck duty. He adds. Continues on page four. Okay. Meine lieben Freunde, <lacht> wir haben das Spiel beendet, aber wir werden es nicht wirklich beenden. Wir werden, ähm, ich werde das nochmal machen. Außerhalb des Dings. Oder sollen wir es nochmal gemeinsam machen? Hm, ich überlege gerade, vielleicht wirklich. Naja, auf jeden Fall, meine Damen, meine Herren, ich wünsche euch einen schönen Abend. 
Wir werden wahrscheinlich irgendwas reintun, das unsere Rhetorik verbessert. Vielleicht kann ich sie ausruhen. Okay, bis dann. Tschüss euch. Ähm, und nicht auflegen. Wir werden das morgen weiterführen.